Okay, so he's completed his Eton education because he's been in some Shakespeare. And he says that it was no small feat for one so unscholarly, so limited, so distracted. And while I wasn't proud of myself, exactly, because I didn't know how to be proud of myself, I felt a distinct pause in my nonstop internal self-criticism. You want to know how to feel proud of yourself? You do things that are worthy of being proud of. But the glory of the graduation was snatched right out of his hands because there was cheating accusations and none of them were real. Not one of them, not one of them. He hadn't cheated. And it was all just another lie, another story to call him a dimwit. It was all just the press constantly hounding him. He hadn't done anything wrong. He hadn't cheated. And also, how do you even cheat? How do you even cheat at art? Um, I'll tell you, Harry, let me, tell, let me count the ways. You can copy somebody else's work. You can pay somebody else to do the work you should have done. You can find an old project and say that it's yours. It's not a waste to cheat at art. I'm not buying those goods you're peddling, okay? I mean, how, how could I have cheated? You, you, you can't even cheat at art. That's an impossibility. Oh, is it? Somehow people manage it. So even when it came out that he hadn't really cheated, the press had already printed that he had, and so that was the story that stuck, according to Harry. I'd never heard of this story, but he says that's the story that stuck. And he wanted to come out and have a big press conference. I've been exonerated. I'm not a cheater. You know, that teacher was wrong. I, I, I didn't cheat because you can't really cheat at art anyway. And Pa and the rest wouldn't let him come out and have his moment. You know, the old line, never complain, never explain. And this just didn't sit well with him because now he said that everyone was always going to think he was this dim-witted cheater and he didn't think it was fair. But Pa says, look, you're going to get bad press. Just don't read it don't read it. You can't have control over what they say, but you do have control over not reading it. Don't give them all this power. Well, that's not good enough for Harry. And he says, they said they didn't read it. They say they did it. But I said the breakfast table, all the tablets fanned out right there with the scones and the tea. And I know they say they don't read it, but then why are they still getting the tablets? Why are the papers still in the house? That didn't make any sense, Pa. You say you don't, but I started the breakfast table. 